Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Phil Rodin. And today, I'm going to be viewing a martial arts film. Yes, yeah, this is one of those obscure films I'm talking about again. But that's fine. That's fine. I review no movies anyway. So yeah, the film I'm going to be talking about today is going to be the English dubbed version titled the Super Kung Fu Fighter, and as usual, I do have the top of the plot. So let's get let's just get into it, shall we? So here we go. So yeah, in this movie, we get to see that yeah, there's gonna be lots of top fighters, of course. So yes, there is these top fighters all fighting to rule the martial arts world, of course, and. We use the rarest styles ever, of course. So, there was this character, this master that's in possession of a very special sword. A type of sword that can cut through pretty much anything that we want, or we'll become invincible, pretty much. So, yeah, it's pretty damn crazy. Well, of course, it's gonna be like not just any weapon, it has to be a very special kind of sword. And yes, as a self the plot some sort of manner, because of course, because of course it would. So, obviously, what you get here, a bunch of fight scenes, and somehow strung together, these characters. Well, that's part of the charm of these movies. Lots of crazy ass fight scenes. That's fine. It goes along with the story anyway, so there's that. Yeah, this kind of sword can, of course, therefore can easily trick and defeat the enemy, whomever that may be. Obviously, as you can guess yourself, folks, there are many, many, quite a bit of these individuals who are after this second sword. So, yeah, as you can guess yourself, the craziness and, and show is here, of course. But hey, that's how this movie's set up, and of course, going to be lots of crazy stuff. Alright, gotta have drama somehow, I guess. And like I said before, in like various other videos where I'll explain that, you do need drama. And this is somehow the film's way to convey that, which is fine. And like I said multiple times before, there has to be drama. If there's no drama, then there's no conflict. If there's no conflict, then there's no story. And if there's no story, and then there's no reason for me to care at all. So, that makes it seem dramatic some sort of fashion, of course. And also, this movie has been on my to-do list for quite some time. Yes, I know it's technically a notebook, but I'm going in at to-do list anyway, because I have plenty of movies to review. Quite a bit of these is actually Kung Fu features. I'm finding the English dub versions of these movies are a pain in the ass, I'm telling that right now. So, oh boy. And the thing is that, folks, one day, the master, this individual character, does get killed off. And he gets crazier as a result. And the sword is stolen, so yeah, let's just say that things do become rather interesting, I should say. So. Let the wildness of this film occur. So yeah, you said that's basically the rough idea of the story. Even though that this is technically the English dub version I'm reviewing, as mentioned a moment ago, and yes, of course the English dubbing isn't very good, but I managed to enjoy this film anyway. I do like these martial arts films when they're done right, of course. They they don't make these like they used to. They really don't. I miss these. I miss these old movies from the past. Yes, it's obscure. Yes, it's cheaply made. But that's what I would usually talk about on review. So, yeah. But I like them anyway. That's the thing, folks. Finding the dubbed version of these films, all the only available versions of these movies that a lot of people can find, unfortunately. These films are so hard and so rare to find that you will not 
we may not be able to find any other audition of these films. But if you are able to get the the uncut version, you know, hold that film to life, folks. And I want to I would like to get my hands on it one of these days. But can that is. So honestly, I do like the the quality. I mean, the quality looks like it's from a VHS tape, even though I watch this on DVD. But to some degree, I actually like that that look of a VHS tape. But whatever, I guess. Obviously, I have to talk about the fight scenes in this film because it's a kung fu feature. I always have to talk about that. So anyway, yeah, the fight scenes in this film were, were actually pretty solid as a whole. I did, I did like the way they were choreographed, the way they were handled. So, all fun and excitement as these characters would just beat the shit out of each other. So yeah, pretty cool movie. I, I'd say, folks, so definitely check it out. Pretty solid, straightforward storyline we have here. And it does keep up the pace fairly well. And that's a good thing. You don't, you don't want to bore your audience in, a, in, a, in this action movie. The costumes that we used for this film were really well done with that as well. And I can also say the, the sets that they used for this movie is actually pretty well as well. So there's that. Great costumes and great set pieces that we have. And yeah, it did pretty good with that, despite the fact that the film is fairly low budget. I mean, it's monoscule, but still, folks, great in those regards as, as well. I know there are better kung fu films out there, but I'm going to recommend this one anyway. For the comfortable fan enthusiast, because you can do worse, you can do worse than this. But anyway, I'll give it an overall rating of a 6.8 out of 10. It's a 6.8 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah.